Uh, hello. The title of this video is Words Are Meaningless Without Action. I'm hoping that I may uh, do a good job uh, explaining what I mean by words are meaningless without action by giving uh, a few examples. I, I do hope that this video might be of help to you if you yourself as an individual have either you yourself have done this or if you've experienced this uh, done unto you where someone's words don't correlate with their actions. So for instance, uh, when someone says sorry, a lot of people when they use the word sorry, it's usually a, re a reaction to something that happens. Um, it's never really a change of behavior. <laughs> so that's, the, that's like, someone can say like sorry 10 times, but unless that behavior changes, those words mean nothing. Um, because someone can say sorry, but it's the heart intent of why they say sorry means uh, means more, and that can only you can only usually correlate that if there's like a change of actions or behavior, if there's awareness, um, because otherwise the, it's just saying sorry for the sake of saying sorry. It's not saying sorry, and it's actually mean, mean it means anything unless it's followed by actions. So it, it comes to anything with any communication dynamic you have or connection you have with somebody. Uh, words only have any sense of value if it's followed by action. They both correlate with each other like uh, the two um, sides of, the, of a coin. They, they both come together. If not, then it ends up being de facto a lie. So, um, oh, yeah. so when you're engaging in a connection with somebody, it's more important with your eyes and with your ears to absorb and listen to what they're saying and if what they're saying maxes up with their actions and then over time taking notes in your brain, just recording it, take, take notes in your brain. And just another thing that heads up, because a lot of people tend to do this in our phones, they tend to distort events. So it's best that you yourself kind of remember what you were saying, what you would say, and just write it down. I, I would recommend like getting a, a notebook and piece of paper when you have disagreements with somebody and just write down a piece of paper and just to remember yourself uh, about what they say and so that you just observe the pattern and then you say and just take it what it happens once or twice or three times you see you're collating the pattern of behavior. Um, so many people tend to say but like things like sorry or I won't do this again but unless there's actually a meaningful change it, it doesn't matter um, I give you a clear example because it's very permanent in this unfortunately very <laughs> the degeneration is a very um, say antisocial I would say is the mobile phones you have people who be on their phones all the time and they might be in the presence of other people and they still be on their phones and they, they might say sorry um, it, it's okay I like to say sorry or, but it's the reason behind the person's heart of why they're saying sorry uh, if you continue with the same sort of behaviour it's going to happen oh, and it takes you out of the present moment as well with the person I, I person myself um, just it's me I would never I don't use my phone if, if it's more just if someone contacts me but no one ever contacts me um, it's very rare to do but I kind of prioritize of, of how I use the phone and when I not, not use the phone. Uh, I never be on the phone if I want to engage with someone else. I just leave that there and get it another time. If you're on your phone more than you're engaging with somebody else, that is something to be concerned of. So yeah, words, I mean as well, actions, it's very prevalent when there be any communication had, will be a father to the children or mother to the children or siblings to siblings or uh, wife, husband, girlfriend, boyfriend, etc. Whatever interaction you have with another person, whatever words they say is meaningless without the correlating actions to it. And that's something that I pray that it, it might be a benefit to anyone watching this to just observe and and just take note of what someone says to you and then observe if that action correlates with the words because you don't want to be someone who you just take someone's words uh, and and then don't see their actions and then you just repeat the same cycle over and over again because someone says sorry 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 i didn't mean to do that one week later keep on doing it again 
or day later, even. <laughs> Do it again. Or even an hour later. Sorry. So like most most humans, I would say, when they say words, is out of reaction. It's never in a productive way that's actually followed by actions. So. I, I often, when I say something, I mean it, like if I, if I say I'm going to meet you at a certain place at 3 o'clock, I'm going to be there, uh, if I'm late, I'll contact you, so I always, I always mean what I say, I don't say something unless I don't mean it, because otherwise I won't say it, so, and I always, to the best of, 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 of the ability that's God given, try and be as consistent as I can with my words and my actions, so it collates more consistently, and I try and make a conscious effort of that uh, every day. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching this video. I do hope that it, it helped you in some way. And um, just to remember that words are meaningless without action. And just always look out for um, that the words and the actions correlate with each other because it's nothing worse than to constantly have a, a, a dynamic where you constantly have someone um, saying sorry to you, sorry to you, sorry to you for some behaviour and they have no change in their path for that behaviour. Um, it's just, it's just, just wise to kind of take that on board and, um, you know, to, not, not to be in a situation where you, where you, where you allow people to say stuff you mean that they don't really mean it. Because actions is something that actions prove louder than words. I, I remember that kind of saying, which is so true. So words are meanest without action. Uh, thanks for watching this video.